Yes, welcome back to the GT3. But today is not about the GT3, even though it hasn't been featured for a little while. Today is a very special day because McLaren has offered me a 570S for the next four days. And today is the day that they're dropping that car off. We're taking delivery. And then in the next few days, we're going on some road trips and some adventures to just find out what that car is all about. There's gonna be two videos being made. The first one, which is happening today, is going on a road trip with friend and photographer, Richard Walton. If you've watched previous videos, he's joined on these trips before. And the idea is that we're gonna create and capture some gorgeous content, uh, mostly for the new Mr. JWW website, which is launching soon. But of course, on the way, we're gonna find out what the 570S is all about and just have a great adventure as we drive over to yet another c country home, which is Chatsworth House in Derbyshire. And then video number two, we're heading out to Wales tomorrow to find some stunning country roads, mountain backdrops, uh, and we're gonna take along the McLaren 675 LT in matching paint job to join us on that journey to compare those two cars back to back. The reason for that is I've had a small taste of the 570S and the last time I drove it I was absolutely blown away by how capable it is. And my take on this is how much more do you really need out of a road going supercar so I thought well we've got these two cars it's not every day you've got them back to back so let's take them both out to Wales get some great content but also compare them back to back see what they're all about so let's go meet Rich collect the 570s and do this along with us but the last time I used that uh, was on Silverstone on a track day and we've just got in it and the tire pressures are all low because I had to drop them all 5 psi during the track day fortunately signature group isn't too far off the route towards Chatsworth so we're gonna drop in there yeah. use that airline to pump up the LT Sweet. and then we'll head on to Chatsworth nice yeah. All right, so the premise of the day is that we're taking the two matching paint job cars, the 570S and the 675LT, on a mini road trip up towards Chatsworth House. But I just jumped in the 675 and I forgot that the last time I used it was during a track day at Silverstone where I let the tire pressures down. So en route, Signature Group just so happened to be on this journey. So I thought I'd pop in there and get these uh, tires inflated. But you couldn't write what's going in on here. I turned up. <laughs> and it's just a sea of McLaren 570s. They've got this gorgeous 570S here. Matching 570 GT. We've turned up with our 570S and matching paint job 675 LT. I mean, you couldn't write it. These boys, every time I turn up here, it's just dreamland. They're killing it right now, man. So all we've done is come to fill up the uh, tires with air. These guys fortunately have this handy airline here. We'll get the LT jazzed up and then we'll hit the road to Chatsworth. Let's do it. Yeah, forgive this armrest being up. I've packed this full of GoPros that I will use it eventually, but this is up as a temporary sort of, sort of fix. Um, but yeah, the idea of today is that we are going to yet another English stately home. We found ourselves at Blenheim Palace last time, uh, albeit by accident, because we just so happened to bump into the Duke. It was like, fancy you coming in, lads. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Great. 
Uh, so yeah, keeping on theme with that, we are on the road today creating more luscious content for the new MrJWW.com website launching soon. If you haven't headed over there yet, if you go there now, uh, there is a coming soon page uh, where you can put in your email address and you'll be the first to know when that goes live and you'll be getting updates before that happens. But uh, yeah, over the last few weeks, me and Rich have basically teamed up on a few road trips uh, to take some special cars to special places to get some special photos. How's it been so far, man? Ah, oh, amazing. I, yeah. can't, I can't get the grin off. I just sit in the cars and just grin. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, man. And also, McLaren have very kindly lent us the 570S for these next few days. And they found us one with the exact matching paint job with my 675 LT and we're in the middle of autumn right now and the leaves are practically the same color as the cars so we're hoping we're going to find some brilliant British backdrops and hopefully turn up with some great content yes. for this new site man and it's Halloween and it's Halloween so we're in two really fast pumpkins <laughs> heading out on a photo shoot they couldn't get much better man Dude, I have no ideas whose is whose here. <laughs> I didn't, oh, mine was toasted, so yours will be the cold one. Yeah, yeah. That's yours there. Oh, cool, man. How's that, dude? Good, man. I'm gonna go straight in for the cookies. You got cookies. <laughs> Auto. So I can eat my cookie. Roll out. When you were in school, what did you did you have any sort of plans or you know you said when you, I was at you school, would never see yourself doing what you're doing now, which is dude, probably the case for, for a lot of people. Mate, if if you told me when I was at school, the reason Rich has brought up this question is that we're driving out towards where I went to to school. I haven't been back in this area for. 12 or so years and um, I was just saying to him that if, if you'd have told me that when I was at school that I would be doing what I'm doing now, having the time of my life, <laughs> you know, if someone had said to me that one day you're going to drive back to where, well not we're not going back to school, yeah, but drive yeah, back yeah. to school in a McLaren, yeah. you know, when I was growing up I hadn't, I hadn't got a clue what I wanted to do, yeah. where I was going to start. My first job... I was a glass collector in a nightclub. You know, I was I was yeah. picking up used glasses yeah. and taking them back to the bar. I wasn't old enough then to work behind the bar, yeah, so all, sure. all they would do for me was say, well, all you're sort of legally allowed to do it's was sweep up and pick up glasses. Yeah. And at that time, that club, it had this like thick layer of grime on the floor constantly because there was always drink being spilt and, and like people walking in and out just getting crap all over the, the place and I used to make more money sweeping up at the end of the night I used to have this this like big brush yeah. and if I pressed hard enough in like around the bar yeah. I used to peel up notes out of the uh, grind uh, and that used to pay more than my wages were when I started working I'm not even kidding like around the bar yeah. because when people got drunk they would like yeah, drop fivers yeah, and tenors yeah, and stuff yeah. and they just wouldn't pick it up yeah. and it was always a always around the bar yeah. so I went from school to collecting glasses and if someone would have told me then that I'd be doing what I'm doing yeah, now yeah. they had a laugh at your face <laughs> I'd be like yeah sure so it's just crazy to have actually driven this back here um, yeah
we just pulled over so Rich can get a shot. Not sure if he can spot him yet. <laughs> he's absolutely miles away. Look at him. Yeah, he's telling us to come now. He's telling us to come. I better go. <laughs> better go. <laughs> Sorry. This is what makes a top photographer <laughs> with a dedication. I love it. <laughs> How was that, man? Yeah, it was good, man. Like you were miles away. I know. I was. <laughs> I was, I was, in, I was in the car, like zooming yeah, in on yeah, you. Yeah. Absolute yeah. track. Yeah. Well, I, didn't so bad, I can't yeah. wait to see it, man. It's so good. Yeah, it's cool. Right, what we should do because the sun is basically going down now. We should just crack on over there. Yeah. I think by the time we get there, it might be pushing it a bit. God, when the when the clocks go back and we're in winter, it's like uh, it right. really cuts your day short. Forget the word sports, this is very much super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Alright man, so we're like entering the, the Chatsworth estate. Now I'm not sure if you can sit, it's funny, I feel like a tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> but I always notice that any any uh, property on the estate is always painted with this unique blue hue. Yeah, yeah. Like all of the drainage and all of the doors and any woodwork on the houses, the properties has this unique blue colour to it, which oh. kind of indicates that it belongs to the estate. Yeah. Pretty cool. 